Today I'm going to show you a really easy way to make a live edge table with just a few basic power tools. For beginners I recommend using a soft wood slab like cedar or pine instead of a hard wood. It's easier to work with and it's less expensive. I start by picking the side that looks better that's going to serve as the tabletop. From there, I use a hammer and chisel to remove all the rough bark along the outside. Some people like to leave the bark on for aesthetic reasons, but I find it is too soft and crumbly and doesn't hold up well over time. After putting the slab up onto sawhorses, I got up my Holy Galahad power carving disc and put it on my angle grinder. This is a super fast and effective means for removing the inner layer of bark, and shaping the table. Knots and end grain can be really stubborn and tough even on soft woods, but this disc powers right through them. I want to blend the rough cut ends so that they kind of match the curves on the live edge sides, and I was able to shape the ends in just about 10 minutes. I rounded over all the cut edges of the slab just to make sure I don't have any parts that could splinter and crack off and to make sure that everything is nice and smooth to the touch. I started with a coarse Galahad disc and then I switched to a finer one that will give me smoother contours. Now if you don't have this second disc, you could use a flat disc with sandpaper on it instead. Now that the tabletop has the shape that I want, I switched to an orbital sander with 100 grit sandpaper and blended out the rough, aggressive marks left by the angle grinder. I slowly worked my way up from 100 grit to 150 before finish sanding with 220 grit. Sourcing legs for live edge slabs can be a little bit tricky since the slabs aren't always a consistent width. I partnered with Semi-Exact to make a wide variety of different table legs that can be ordered individually so you can just pick the two that work best for you. These heavy duty steel legs are made right here in America and click on the link in the description box below to get yourself a pair. They come with all the screws that you'll need to install them and after marking the location of the holes, I pre-drilled some holes to avoid splitting and then drove in these heavy duty lag screws. This was a traveling project for me and I really enjoyed my new more compact HP line of Ryobi tools. They're small, lightweight, but still pack a powerful punch. After flipping the table over, I did one last finishing pass with my sander and was ready to apply a finish. One of the most important parts of finishing wood is to remove all the dust before you add the finish. I start with just a clean lint-free rag before moving to a tack cloth. Simple Finish by Maker Brand is the easiest way to get a really professional looking finish on wood. You just brush on a really thick coat, let it soak in for 10 minutes, add a little bit more just to even out any dry spots, wait another 10 minutes, and then buff out all the excess with a clean lint-free rag. Oil finishes like this are great for beginners because they go on really even. You don't have to worry about consistency the way you do with a polyurethane. It's also particularly useful on soft woods. This way, if you get any dents or nicks, you can just add a little bit more oil and the finish will blend to the previous finish, making repairs really easy. I am working with Semi-Exact to create a whole bunch of different heavy-duty steel leg options for all sorts of tables and benches. I invested in this company and have been spending a lot of time at their factory learning more about steel manufacturing and helping them with new designs. I'll be posting a video tour of this factory really soon. This entire build took me less than four hours, and the result is a one-of-a-kind table that is super sturdy and not that hard to build. I put links to the tools, materials, and accessories that I used, so be sure to check that out and let me know if you want to give a table like this a shot. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already.